Next up, we're going to install the Trilltech Digital Fan Kit. Um, basically, what you got here is a bracket with a spall fan and a TTV temperature gauge that also triggers the fan when to come on and off that. You will program the temperature you would like it to trigger the fan at and basically leave it alone. Um, they are backlit as well. Uh, your wire harness is included and uh, your hardware. Installation for this should take no more than uh, about 35 to 45 minutes. To install the temperature sensor, you will need to drain the coolant. Um, this is your uh, water pump bleed valve here. And this is what you're going to want to loosen. Have yourself a pitcher or a drain pan handy. And only a little bit will come out until you release the radiator cap. Pitcher is a good idea to use because you can easily refill the coolant when you're done. Once you've drained your coolant, the next thing you're going to want to do is remove the radiator. So, remove your hose clamps, upper and lower radiator hose. Once you have the radiator removed, you can go ahead and install the fan bracket. Make sure you have the wires held up out of the way and just slide it right on over the radiator. And it should line up with the pre-drilled factory holes on the sides of the radiator. And then you can go ahead and start your self-tapping screws which are included. Once you have the bracket mounted to the radiator, we need to install the temperature sensor. You want to use this heat sinking uh, grease, basically thermal grease, to uh, make a nice good contact between the sensor and the radiator fins. And you can put a good amount of grease like so. Once you know where you're going to put your sensor, Line it up over the fins. Carefully push straight down on top of the sensor. If you get to a point where it doesn't want to go any further, you may need to use something hard to press on top, like such. And once you're complete, it should be nice and flush and even with the, the fins on the radiator. Once you have the fan kit mounted to the radiator and the temperature sensor installed, you can go ahead and reinstall the radiator just the same way as you removed it. This is your power connection. Some models will have a provision already right in this general area for you to connect the uh, power wire to. This model, however, does not have a provision, so we're going to install the power cable. Simply connect the uh, terminals like so, and then route your power wire back up to the battery, and make sure to follow the frame along with the rest of the bike's harness.